Hi YouTube, it's Yashi today with another Fundraise update. I know it's been a month where I haven't been posting. I've been in Italy, been traveling a lot. I didn't have access to all my tools and stuff. So I just focus on TikTok and on YouTube, but we're back uh, today again with Fundrise. A month went by, we received Q1 dividends and we added another $1,000, actually $1,200 worth of investments in the past month. We were at 37K on my past update and right now we are closer and closer to another 10K milestone, which is the 40,000K milestone. So let's jump right through it. We are here at $39,567,000 of total value. What happened in Q1? We received over $1,000 of total return, most of which was appreciation, because as you all know, the housing market has been exploding in the past two years expected to slow down a little bit but it still went very well and another 365 dollars of dividends in terms of properties we're now at 250 active properties we had another we added another 10 properties to our portfolio which is amazing and what about general performance if we look at percentages we can look at performance right here, Q1 and partial Q2. Q1 with a 3.3% return on our portfolio. Q1 is 0.1 because it just started for a total return of around 3.5%. I think this remaining 0.5% is still from Q1. Very satisfied at this pace. If we do it in a year, it's above 10% return. Of course, you never know what happens in the future, but we're still very happy with it. In terms of portfolio, again, we went all the way to 250 active properties. Um, total value is $39,000. Which specific added prop properties that we add? We have single family rentals in Middle Beach, South Carolina, single family rentals in Arizona are new. Value add strategy in Atlanta, Georgia for commercial warehousing, which is something that has been mentioned at the end of 2021 in a mail. They want to focus more on small warehouses for smaller companies. They were doing already warehouses for companies like Amazon, but they want to focus for other online retailers. Now, if we go to general updates, this was the latest update we received from the fundraise team. Q122 performance update, continued strong performance despite a volatile market. Again, they're very excited, they're very happy that they made this return, but they keep on saying, we never know what's gonna happen. Interest rates are supposed to go higher. Uh, prices are supposed to at least stabilize or even drop uh, this year and you can say about it you can look at many other youtubers who say exactly the same but what they say is they still prepare um, they still take this in consideration when they buy new properties they always want the hedge so in case they lose value they're not losing money and they always focus also on rental income which is fundamental for let's say the dividend side of the fundraising investment that's all for now guys uh, in the next two weeks we will receive another 400 dollars let's say investment from my account which will bring us to almost 40k and a couple of days next of so let's say daily returns and we should make it to 40k which will you will probably see on my next portfolio update i still love the platform um as i told you in the past i decided to have the dividends being sent straight to my account i don't reinvest them because i like to have that money coming onto hitting my bank account uh, actually showing me that i have money that i can use um so yeah i'm very happy with the investment i'm very happy with the platform i generally tell you to take a look at it do your research and let me know what you think let me know if you have any questions um please leave in the comment and i will, will and i will reply to you as soon as i can thank you for watching guys ciao